fortunately bangalore and its surrounding is very unique in its uh, geo hydro systems there are beautiful hills all around nandi hills savandurga ragiel state forest they are all not um, created by man it is about more than 3.5 billion years natural uh, evolution of the systems so each hill ranges starting from nandi hills to ramnagar to savandurga to this thing are very unique especially nandi hills nandi hills is the world's oldest ecosystem 3.5 billion years ago this system has been formed and most to stabilized ancient system this ancient system provided tremendous amount of stability to the peninsula of india it is not susceptible for any type of uh, uh, earthquakes and other major uh, natural events that sort of a stability has been established in 14th 15th century bangalore surroundings a sort of a scrub jungle with uh, some sandalwood some pterocarpus centralis that is called red sanders the name of bangalore is also originated from bengay Bengay means the local name of red sanders is Bengay. That is what uh, Rice has recorded in his Gazetteer. Bengay means red sanders growing ecosystem naturally. Nobody have planted all these things. So like that, the this ecosystem. So Kappa Goda as uh, Palegar or chieftain interested in developing a urban ecosystem here. then he consulted the then krishna devaraya and his uh, ministers and ex- experts and got some sort of a training about how to plan what to do etc he stayed there as a trainee for three or four months then he came back they gave him some funds also to develop krishna devaraya krishna devaraya is one of the great visionary and is uh, ministers also so he learned all those things came to bangalore studied the the geography of the bangalore then the three important aspects criteria is considered one is water use policy water is most important for economic development and for health and production etc then land use policy water use policy land use policy then third criteria amazing is carrying capacity what should be the carrying capacity for a city then he wanted to determine the carrying capacity of the bangalore city so the upper palace ground is the highest point so there is stood there then the best bullocks the four pairs he selected tied a plow and made them to run in four directions not uh, trotting or uh, this thing they should run uh, run with their capacity on four four directions so the plow will make a furrow so where this bullocks get exhausted they will stop at a point that is is boundary for bangalore urban ecosystem that is called carrying capacity that means that is the way of assessing the capacity of the mother earth then after that he consulted all the stakeholders starting from a pot maker to the bangle maker to the uh, farmers to the horticulture to the dairy everybody everybody considered what to do 
then everybody contributed not only their knowledge their traditional knowledge and their skills and also the finance he has not insisted anybody to pay what voluntarily they paid and involved everybody so that sort of a what do you call the involvement of the community in development and consulting them taking their knowledge taking their skills and depending upon that providing the ecosystems bade pete akki pete kumbhar pete so he has created a market so whenever farmers or anybody produces any product which are required for the community they go to a place there will be number of people not only one fellow so automatically inbuilt mechanism so if some somebody pays 40 rupees and the fellow will say i will pay you 45 rupees i will pay for so they will enquire everybody so this is my quality see the and fix the price so there will be built in competition so everybody is to look into their profit margin and various other expenditures and fix the price automatically so buyer also will go there see things and purchase so the producer consumer relationships were built in then he identified the valleys so after identifying the valleys he has see and studied the the texture st- structure porosity of the soil and hill ranges so in all the most of the hill ranges he built in a temple there on the top of a hill the purpose is the hill is the breast of the mother earth so we have to protect the hill to get perennial streams that is called catchment areas so on the bottom of the hill the vegetation has been protected natural vegetation so the idea is they should walk through the vegetation go to the temple see that this is the place where we should thank the god for helping us to supply oxygen supplying us and, and 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 also to oxygen and to the and and tirtha that is elixir of life then flame of the life oxygen so every hill was a oxygen bank every hill was a water bank so protection and preservation was his top priority and also a customary spiritual components have been built in in bangalore not only for one community even at that time for christians muslims for every community with appropriate basic needs and rights have been taken care that's most important criteria in his uh, administration